Johnny Snap here for IrishBoxing.com with Tyrone McKenna. Tyrone, you have a fight, is it next Friday? Uh, next Saturday. Next Saturday? Yeah, yeah so we're fighting uh, a Bulgarian. He's, he's pretty durable. He's uh, had th three wins, eight losses, but he's went the distance at home, so I'm hoping to make a big statement and uh, try and get him out of the inside the rings. Yeah, he's going for the stoppage. Uh, because he's never been stopped, I want to show that <laughs> I'm better than all the rest of them. And what about in terms of uh, fighting at home for the first time? Uh, well, uh, I think it's going to be a bit more, a bit more nervous. Like when I go away, it's sees I do have fans going, but yeah. aren't relatives or friends. I think so. It's the first time I've seen me pro boxing, so uh, I think I'll be nervous on the day. But hopefully, put them past me. Just and does that make you want to make a bit more of a statement as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because none of them have seen me box really. Maybe some of them have seen one. Internet or something, but uh, yeah, I wanted to want to recall from the day everyone's band they was crazy and uh, so they're spending good money to see me for the first time tomorrow. So, like, you know, um, then what's the, the sort of the plan for the future? Are you going to be based still in Philadelphia or are you going to mix it up a bit? Or? Well, I have two kids now, so and they're young, only two months, yeah. so being away from home so much is it's too hard on them. Uh, so, I'm going to try and get somewhere. More based in maybe England or, or Belfast or Like change in, uh, in terms of management or just uh, everything? Yeah. Uh, everything's going to get totally changed. Uh, well, I've, been, I've been speaking to a couple of people in uh, London or uh, uh, in England as well. I've been speaking to a couple of people back home in Belfast. So hopefully I'll try to get some sort of. And so th then again, there is a little more pressure to perform here and show, no, sell show yourself much, a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, and how did you find it over there? Like I presume training camps and sparring, yeah, well, just piping away from home and in no, terms I, I, of just I, I, in boxing. It was good because you're away from all the all the stuff back home, like uh, family. Like, they're not in your face, you can just relax and focus on boxing. But uh, and then I went, I was going, I went to Miami, sport car, well, that was great, good learning. Yeah. All the sparring, there's all the it just gets to me what's been away from the and that's how the kids grow up. So. Talking about Karabov, uh, did, you, you, did you kind of get close to him when you were sparring him or were you still up for Andy by the time the fight came around? No, he's, he's a great guy, so he is a nice guy. Yeah. I knew Andy Lee was going to beat him uh, every spar I was having him. I was hitting Karabov with great hook, great hook. I mean, every yeah. spar was like, that's best, Andy Lee's best. Sorry, we have to stop passing Carlos Shelton. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>